Former Governor-General Bill Hayden has vowed to do all he can to see Pauline Hanson defeated at the next federal election. The one-time Labor leader says he'll establish a non-partisan committee of concerned citizen in his former electorate to expose the new federal member's populist slogans as simplistic and shallow. Mr Hayden says he shares some community concerns about immigration and Aboriginal welfare, but has been shocked by the momentum of the One Nation campaign. He told Queensland correspondent Andrew Carroll great damage is being done to Australia. We always want you to be our Prime Minister. Yes. Oh, yes. You know that. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Hayden, yes. you, you, agree you be with the that best. best. Yes. You be the best. It's eight years since Bill Hayden retired from federal politics, but in his old seat of Oxley, the affection remains. Oh, good day. How's it going? It was the best Once a Labor stronghold, Oxley is now home to Australia's most controversial politician, Pauline Hanson. Good evening, everyone, and um, welcome to the Expert Show. With national support growing and solid 36% backing in her own electorate, Hanson's local appearances have taken on an almost regal aura. But out in Sideshow Alley, local opinion is strongly divided on the One Nation leader. I think she's great. She's not racist at all. Oh, she's cool. Too racist for me. She's a racist and a bigot. I think she's got a heck of a lot of support here in Ipswich. A lot of Ipswich people, in recent weeks actually, probably like me, got a shock to see how much support Mrs Hanson had generated with these, these simple little slogans of prejudice. You know, if she stands to one side, you find there's nothing more than a puff of wind behind her, a very small puff at that. The former Governor-General now lives 40 minutes from the centre of the electorate he represented for 27 years. And he says he'll do whatever he can to unseat Pauline Hanson at the next election. I have thought of a, a committee of concerned citizens from the community, non-party political, I'm not in any party, I haven't been for nearly 10 years now, uh, who, who are worried about the threat this represents to the values that we traditionally have held, the decent values of respect for other people. Bill Hayden says he'll re-enter the political fray because he believes Pauline Hanson's views are damaging Australia's economic interest as well as its social fabric. And I think most Australians would want to see a society in which people are respected for their worth. They wouldn't want to see people discriminated against because of the pigmentation of their skin or because they have physical disabilities or because they're marginalised. On the contrary, we have a very fine tradition of wanting to make arrangements to help people who are disadvantaged in our society. It's about fairness, about just, it's about respect for other individuals, it's about living together in a community. And Mrs Hanson's statements are dividing us very badly. Bill Hayden believes Pauline Hanson is being used. She's in danger of be, being seen as the willing mouthpiece of voices of intolerance in our community. And that'd be a shame because I think, really, behind it, Pauline Hanson, from my dealings with her, is quite a nice person. She's much harder line and she has more right, far more right wing values than I do. Uh, but these people are, I think, cynically exploiting her trust and, as it were, a political innocence, which they see as a gullib gullibility. <laughs> Ipswich today is Australia's most multicultural city with 119 different ethnic groups. It's a far cry from the city Bill Hayden walked the beat as a young policeman in 1960. It was a large provincial centre, almost an over-large country town. Population very steady, coal miners, railway workers. Uh, Hayden says high unemployment today has made Ipswich fertile ground for Pauline Hanson's populist slogans. Racism has always been fairly rife in this town and that um, she's giving people permission to um, display that openly. ATSIC Regional Chairperson Pat Thompson says the alleged bashing of Aboriginal youths by police in March reflects a growing racial intolerance. But I think um, right up until the next election that she's going to do a lot more damage than what she's already done. Despite that prediction, 
Ipswich is a finalist in a National Reconciliation Award to be decided later this month. Lord Mayor John Nugent says the city has taken Pauline Hanson in its stride. Underneath it all, the general community, the organisation, the mainstay of the, of the region is as strong as ever and, uh, we're, and we're working as hard as ever to make this city the multicultural uh, paradise in the future it should be. Bill Hayden may find plenty of support for a committee against Pauline Hanson, but he believes support for his old party will be harder to come by. Labor's problem is going to be to get a good candidate, and frankly, those of whom I've heard uh, locally who wish to nominate, I don't think they can pull it off. I really think Labor's got to import someone of considerable status and, uh, and, and appeal. Maybe somebody who could be a future Governor General? Preferably someone who could be a future Prime Minister. I'm not sure ex-Governor-Generals are supposed to uh, be quite that forthright, but perhaps these aren't ordinary times. Andrew Carroll with that report.